Welcome, everybody, to Midday Magazine for this June 18th, 2024. I have your host, James, behind the mic, and we are joined now by CEO of your United Way of Southwood and the Ems Counties and uh, co-host every once in a while with us on the morning show, Terry Johns. Hey, James. Good to see you, Terry. Thanks it's so much for joining us. Great to be here. Uh, we, we put our business hats on for this segment. Yeah, of very course. official now. Uh, yes, no yes. goofing around. No, no, but we, uh, <laughs> maybe a little goofing. Uh, but I do want to uh, get right to things because there is so much going on, not just this month, but all you know, all year long with the United Way, and you have some great events going on. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, I want to rewind a little bit to some of the events that are wrapping up or have wrapped up. And one of those was the uh, diaper giveaway that you guys did. This was the first year of this, right? Yeah, so we did a diaper drive. Um, and this was to solicit donations from the community from Mother's Day through Father's Day. And this was the first time that we did it. Some of our neighboring United Ways have been doing it for a while. And, you know, sometimes we can even just kind of ride on each other's coattails a little bit, right? As, as we're all promoting and talking about events like this. So we decided to jump on board. Um, we It's kind of fun. Every time we start to count, a few more donations come in. So that's a good thing. Um, we're going to put out our official press release at the end of this week. But I can tell you where we're at through yesterday um, because we know that there may be some more coming. But we were just under 6,000 diapers. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, I didn't expect that. Yeah. Whoa. So so that's very exciting. Um, you know, we had some really great, um, you know, organizations. We had a, yesterday a church dropped off. They had, you know, done some gathering um, within their congregation. Um, we had monetary donations, which we were able to take advantage of some sales, you know, where if you spend so much, that, that retailer gives you a gift card. Then we use the gift card to buy more diapers. So, um, so that worked out really, really well. But yeah, in total... We're just over 13,000 items. So between wipes and diapers and and the paste and cream. So, um, you know, very, very, very successful for a first event, right? And so now we will get those out to um, different organizations in the community that do distribute diapers as needed um, for, for those um, who, you know, who might have that need. So, you know, we're very appreciative, very thankful. Um, look forward to the press release getting out at the end of this week. We've got some fun pictures to see this actual like mountain of you know boxes of yeah. diapers. So w- w- was it a mountain like in the office? Was oh yeah, well, I couldn't see over it, but we did it on purpose. You know yeah, what I mean to make yeah, it make yeah. it big. So yeah, Ben's in that. Ben from our team is in the picture. I think he's probably the only one that was tall enough to see over the top. I don't know. Um, but so so that was great. Um, but we, like I said, we'll be releasing some official numbers at the end of the week, and um, just you know, uh, my heartfelt appreciation for anyone and everyone who um, can, you know rose to the occasion and and made a donation. I know that our Rotary Club, you know, they were promoting it. There was just a lot of different organizations um, and businesses and individuals that were, um, you know, saying, hey, we recognize this as a need and, and probably even more so with the change that we've all experienced in the economy, right? You know, you or I can't go to the grocery store um, without seeing a big a big uptick or any other oh, store, yeah. but you know yeah. what I mean compared to what we were maybe at a year or two ago, and and this um, pertains to these same things, right? Like like there's maybe not more income coming into the home, but the expense is greater for for you know regular staple type items, and so um, for us to be able to help with this a little bit and and maybe bridge a few gaps, um, I think is really important. It goes so much farther than we can realize too. Even a former, you know, not in the former, but even uh, people when your, your kids are older and stuff and, and you you haven't had to buy diapers in years or anything um you get it you understand it but in the current climate like you touched on there it, it's it there's the part of it we understand and then there's the part we understand we don't understand well, you know? and it's kind of funny i can't tell you how many i mean it was just a handful but but like i heard it more than once someone would come in with a you know they bought a box of diapers and they brought them in to donate and they're like oh i'm so glad i don't have to buy these anymore yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, yeah, you know like yes. like it was great they did it and, and you know it, it wanted to participate Participate, but then they're like, whew, glad mm-hmm. I don't have to do that all the yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, it's It was great. Uh, looking forward to uh, being able to maybe see this again next year, hopefully. You know? Yeah, I think, you know, that is the plan is to, to bring it back. Of course, we will, um, you know, fall back on on those organizations that distribute to find out, you know, what their needs are. Mm-hmm. Um, but but seemingly it, um, it is a need, will meet a need. And our, like I said, our partner and neighboring United Ways have been doing it for quite some time, um, you know, with a high level of success and able to bridge a gap in the community. So that's that's certainly our goal. 
And it speaks to when we have campaign season, when we talk about the United Way and we encourage people to be a part of events, it, it speaks to that. Um, we're going to talk about some great events that have been around for many years, but something like this that just got going, it speaks to the importance, the note from the United Way of seeing that, and also from the community speaking out. And so I always encourage people to reach out to the United Way when you see these um, these openings, these things that we could use some assistance with and everything. That's what the United Way wants to hear. That's what they want. That's the kind of data that they're looking for and again when campaign season comes around it's all that more important to why you invest in the united way because they invest in us yeah uh, absolutely i mean i just think that to people um you you don't always realize what the needs are if you don't if you're not really close to it mm-hmm. right and so so this is a way that um we have the opportunity to say oh yeah, we recognize that need in our community, and we can do something about it right now, right? It doesn't have to take four years to yeah. to make a change. Yeah, that's such a good point. That mm-hmm. is such a good point. Terry, uh, one of the uh, events, the, those uh, events that keep coming back every year that we look forward to and enjoy, one of them is the Great Book Giveaway wrapping up today. It'll have wrapped up by the time uh, we're, we're, uh, we're playing this interview, of course. But I did want to, uh, first off, uh, thank the United Way for this event and thank them, uh, you all, for the opportunity to read to kids. I don't know if you haven't done it in a while, uh, if you <laughs> if you can really understand how wonderful it is. I'm fortunate. I think this is the fourth year I've done this in a row. And uh, going back to that first first year doing it, I had forgotten how much I love reading for kids. It's a blast. It's so much fun. Uh, one of the best audiences I'll ever have are reading at these things. I'm not kidding. Like well, They're so receptive. They're, they're so, so great. fun. They, yeah. they really are. Um, it was a fun time over at the zoo getting to read to them. A big thank you to not only the United Way, but to the, our libraries and the zoo and these different org- places hosting this. Too. Yeah, and it's too bad you had a little bit of a rainy day yeah. at the zoo. But yes, today was our last event. Um, it had happened at the Vesper um, Library in coordination with their summer reading program kickoff. Mm. So um, so that's all the other events were held last week. Um, and, and this one um, we did earlier today just – you know, like I said, to, to piggyback mm-hmm. on their on their summer reading kickoff and hopefully find a captive audience. What I think is really important, in addition to what you said, you know, getting adults in front of kids and, and having them read and those interactions that that take place, um, we will have served you know nearly three hundred kids with this event mm-hmm. this year. So, wow. um, you know, so, so that's that's really remarkable too, yeah. uh, and making sure that they get you know. Two, three, four handful mm-hmm. of books, you know, whatever it is that they have interest in um, to take home and keep over the summer. And then, of course, like all of our events, um, as this is wrapping up, you know, we will sit down and have a chat about it. You know, what what's still working? What's not working? You know, what what can we do to make this even better? Um, again, learning from others and and also, um, you know, standing on some traditions as well. Mm-hmm. So, we, you know, we may see a few updates to this event um, going mm-hmm. forward. But honestly, if we're serving 300 kids with an event I mean, or a small series of yeah. events, that's pretty significant. It's a job well done. That yeah. really is. And a big uh, credit to everybody that comes together to make this happen. Uh, it's a fun one. Looking forward to next year's already. And uh, and, and certainly looking forward to meeting everybody at the zoo because I will be back next year. That's a good <laughs> one. And I've said it on the air now, oh, so I have to. I have so they to let you out of your cage or they, do you read from behind it? Uh, see, okay, so this is something I was going to keep to myself. But for those that don't know, I am an animal caged at the zoo. They let me out to read to kids and do this morning. There's the shows here. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's We have this here. really long extending microphone. <laughs> Goes across the street. <laughs> I love it. Too funny. Staying on the topic of reading, um, I do want to give a shout out to the Wisconsin Rapids Noon Rotary Club Foundation. Mm. Um, they just made a donation to our Dolly Parton Imagination Library program of five hundred dollars. So they donated to help us, you know, make sure that kids have books. And this is a this is a really important program, and we talk about it. But but I don't know that I think people think there's a catch, right? Because yeah, nothing's yeah. free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but it is free. <laughs> So this is a program that is free for all children that reside in Southwood County. So the child has to live here. Sometimes that's a little bit of a road bump for us. Um, you know, the grandma and grandpa lives here and they want their grandkids to have the books, but we, we don't have the capacity to do that. So the child has to live in Southwood County um, and they receive books from birth till age five um, when they graduate Mm -hmm. out of the program um, and get a really cool book about moving on to kindergarten. Um, This is all done through the Dollywood Foundation. It's called Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. It is funded by our local Women United. So there are millions of books that go out every month. This is a global program Mm -hmm. um, that started by Dolly Parton. And 
we happen to be the local affiliate. So we started in Southwood County in 2017. We, in May, rolled out to the Adams County part of our mm-hmm. service area as well. So any child who resides in Southwood County or Adams County is eligible to receive free books. There is no catch other than geography. Mm. You have to live in that area. Otherwise, no catch. Um, a book comes in the mail to your child once a month. Um, kids don't get mail, so there's mm. something super cool yeah. about that. It has their name on it. Mm. Also really mm. cool. And then there's always, you know, it, it's a nice variety of books, but what I think is really cool about it is that Dally has reading interventionists on staff. So these mm. are good quality, hand-chosen books. Um, and, and for a child to have a 60-book library, in theory, cool. by the time they're five years old, is is really awesome. Now, if you have a three-year-old, they can still get signed up. You don't have to have signed them up when they were born. Maybe you didn't know about the program. Maybe you didn't hear about Maybe you just moved into our area. Um, so I really encourage you, if you you know are listening and you know of a child in this age group that is not receiving books, please go to our website and get the um, sign-up form. There's also sign-up forms at all libraries. There are sign-up forms at um, our, our well child visit providers so what doctor's offices have them Mm -hmm. um and and so we really we really really i mean would like to get that get our number up a little higher but it is pretty awesome because we are serving about 475 kids a month right now that's that's impressive so it's very cool and and again just a shout out to rotary for saying hey this is important we want to help fund this I wanted to note that because uh, it, it, I am no good at math in my head, but I, I, I checked it. And I wanted to check my, my math on this one, and that's uh, that 500, that's at least 16 to 17 kids. Yeah, that, so that are, that's incredible. That's, that's really that awesome. That is quite an impact to be able to make. Um, and especially when it comes to these books, uh, their friends, their siblings might read them to them or read with them, or they may read to them or something. The, this it, it doesn't just go to those 16 kids. This impacts uh, the kids surrounding them, too in many ways. It's uh, such a great use of your time and your money. I encourage you to learn more about that and find out ways that you can be a part of this great, uh, not only this great event and the great book giveaway, but Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. Speaking with Terry Johns, CEO of your United Way of Southwood and Ems Counties. And Terry Johns, it's a big night tonight uh, for all of us here at the United We Can event happening at Winterfield. It is. It's been a great day so far. Um, we have seven teams this year that are um, building their their food sculptures, probably wrapping up right about now. Mm, yeah, they get yeah. until, you know, till four o'clock. So mm. um, building those sculptures and then they will be on display for tonight's Rafter game. And if you're attending... Um, really cool is that you get to vote. So we have a few awards that we hand out. We do a most nutritious, most creative. Um, those are done by some guest judges. You know, those are determined. Yeah. Uh, yours truly. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I'll be done. Um, so, so we have some judging that happens, but then we also have community choice award. And mm-hmm. so we have two different categories. Um, we have a major league, minor league, and that's based on the number of cans that they use to build their, their food sculpture. And we invite you um, as a, as a patron of the, of the rafters when you come to the game to pick which one is your favorite so i think that's always kind of the biggest bragging rights right is the the community choice awards so really looking forward to that we also get an opportunity um, in the early part of the game to conduct a miracle minute so Mm -hmm. we will have volunteers in the stands just asking people to throw in their loose change i mean it's actually remarkable to me how many 20s get thrown in. That's I think that's awesome. really awesome. It really is. But, but what we're asking for is just, you know, whatever you whatever you can just grab. And, and we literally get 60 seconds to canvas yeah, yeah. the whole, you know, all the stands. And then all of those dollars, in addition to all of the food that is used to build these sculptures, um, gets out to local food programs um, here in our community and, and in the whole community we serve. So um, the Adams Food Pantry benefits from this, the Backpacks for Kids program in Nakusa, the um, Focus, um, all three programs. So we have mm-hmm. Backpacks for Kids, we have um, the community meals and the pa- pantry and the family center so all of those receive um food that that gets leveraged at this event yeah uh it's it's one of the greater um i i think greater Im- uh, events that our area has period like uh, not just with the united way or non-cause it's it's one of our best events for one i say this because of the combination of a non-profit and business with the rafters and the united way we do that so well in this area I, I say that in part because of how important this subject is. Everybody deserves to have a meal. Everybody deserves to eat. Um, and, and, and there's no person that doesn't deserve that. Uh, those things are very important to me, and I know into our community. But I always come back to our community and how amazing this is.
this is. What you said there at the Miracle Minute and how the money that is collected from that is always impressive to me. No matter what the number is tomorrow when I hear it or see it, it'll be impressive to me, I guarantee you. The way that this community comes together creatively to create these sculptures is always so cool to me. I, my brain thinks very 2D. I'm not good at that kind of thing. When I see what they do, I don't care what it is. I'm blown away by it, which is also part of why it's very difficult for me to judge on these things. Yeah, I'm sure. And you know what? It's always hot and sweaty when we do this. It is always, always. It is. It is another one. It's today, so it's gonna humid be today. today too. Yeah. Um, but the, again, the way this community steps up for these things, because uh, Melissa and I talked about this a little bit on the morning show today. Statistically, we saw from the Alice report that the United Way helped us uh, see and, and, and promote and put out a lot and everything that we um, we know that our the person we're standing next to in line in the grocery store or maybe even our neighbor or something that they could be in this this need in this in this uh, rare in this area of need for food. Um, so chances are statistically that some of the people that donate today might be in that situation or might be right on the cusp of that situation. That's this community. That's how great this community is. People even in the, in the cusp of that are still looking at, well, what can I give? What can I do? Yeah, what's my part, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So another challenge, James, to really help um, – boost this up and and have more availability of um of funds and of food there was kind of a challenge thrown out there by the rafters and so you know if you're just sitting at home on the couch listening to us right now I encourage you to come and get a ticket i have no idea where they're at with ticket sales but if there's two thousand tickets sold um then they will be donating two thousand dollars to Ooh, the cause so nice. i mean you know if you're not have nothing to do mm-hmm. that would be great come on down and join us yeah let's make sure uh, not only to show battle creek what home field advantage is uh, but uh, add to those numbers so that we can get that money donated to this great cause that's yeah. a really so cool that would be, so that would do. be really awesome if it worked out. That is really above and beyond on them. I, I appreciate that. That's very cool. Be a part of United Weekend tonight at Winterfield. Game kicks off at 635. Uh, come on down to the ballpark maybe a little bit early so you can go ahead and uh, take some time before you get to your seat and check out these great sculptures that uh, these great local nonprofits and businesses put together and everything. Yeah, Shout we out. also have, um, we are accepting food donations. So if you're coming to the game, you know, please bring a non-perishable food item um, just to donate. The Rafters put together a really nice raffle basket or a prize basket so if you bring a food donation your name goes in in that drawing so that's always really fun you know they mm-hmm. put together a, a nice um nice variety of promotional items and then also our friends from mcmillan library will be there mm-hmm. building an impromptu sculpture with the foods that are donated so yeah. it's not part of the contest per se mm-hmm. but it's always really fun to see what they come up with really um is. and it's always a little bit different sometimes they like to tie it to reading of course it's a mm-hmm. library yeah. but um but but it is really great to see what they come up with so that'll be happening at the start of the game too so lots of activity as you're coming through the gate um you know please come with enough time so that you can enjoy it and and really feel the full benefit of what we're doing Terry, you got a couple of minutes left. I wanted to spend it on Stuff the Desk and, and encouraging people to be able to register and find out more about this. Yes. So this is the time to register for free school supplies. So if you have not already, you need to visit our website at uwswac.org. And this is where you register your students for, for free school supplies. Um, the rule of thumb basically is if you qualify for free and reduced lunch, you qualify for free school supplies. So registration is required. And, and it has been for several years, so this is not something new. But, but we also know that once summer hits, because we did open registration May 1st, mm. um, because once summer hits, people just get busy. Yeah. Or, you, or you maybe just don't pay as close attention mm-hmm. to emails as you do when you, know, when, when you have to keep things in yeah. order, right? Yeah. Um, so summer's break time a little bit. But if you haven't registered, we do need you to do that. You, um, when you put in the information about your students, you will um, select a pickup time. This is a drive-through style um, event. It'll be on that brand new Lincoln Street Road. Mm, you know yeah. that'll be ready oh, and ready and nice. rolling. So yeah. it kind of it, it actually kind of rotates around each junior high, mm. um, and and so it it goes very smoothly. Um, you have a window of time to pick up your your backpacks which is really nice and much more respectful of people's time than come stand in line yeah. for a whole morning yeah, yeah. um so though the big thing here is you have to register mm-hmm. okay so that's that's the big deal so registration will be open until august 1st and then it will go away so mm-hmm. you have may june and july mm-hmm. you got three months to register so um so so hop on and get that taken care of so then the burning question where do the school supplies come from um we we need folks to donate school supplies um we need businesses and organizations to host um you know 
drop events where yeah. people can bring things. We see a lot of churches that do this. You know, they'll put mm-hmm. it out or a lot of member groups, civic organizations mm-hmm. that'll say, hey, at our next meeting, please bring, you know, this. Um, we are collecting all of those items down at Lunch by the River. We are the sponsor of Lunch by the River on August 1st. And that's where we will stuff a school bus full mm-hmm. of supplies. I mean, so we we really encourage you to consider that. Um, there's a lot of time between now and August 1st. So when you're out shopping, maybe you can pick up five folders, you know, when you see that they're five for a dollar or or a couple packs of crayons or or something like that to really um, to help us out. Those can be dropped off at the United Way office anytime up to August 1st. But then once we, you know, take everything down to lunch by the river, um, you know, our goal is to get everything collected there and inventoried so that we know what we need to order. So we are ready to roll for this distribution. So there's a lot of moving parts with this. And, and we just, you know, really appreciate the community's support. If you don't want to shop, you don't want to go and pick things out. Um, we also take monetary donations, just like I talked about earlier with the diapers. Mm-hmm. Um, donations to stuff the bus go right into school supplies. You know, they're not they're not going anywhere mm-hmm. else. We are literally buying school supplies with those dollars to make sure that we can get kids what they need. Yeah, it's uh, it's another way to impact the future, to invest in the future, and be a part of something. And 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 also. There, I've heard this uh, over the years from time to time. Some people that haven't had to shop for school supplies in a long time, not only is it a real appreciation of what parents have to do and that, um, but also it's kind of fun. It, like there's, there's something it is kind fun, of fun about yeah, it. but you're we, right. Little sticker shock sometimes. It's like, yeah, whoa, there's yeah. that much in those backpacks. So It speaks to all the more the reason why we need all the help we can get and everybody to be in on this one. And uh, we'll talk more and more about this and remind people about registration and how they can drop off supplies as we go along through summer here. And encourage you again to be at United We Can, the event at Winterfield tonight with our rafters and our United Way of Southwood and Ems counties. Doors open at 635 as we take on the Battle Creek ja- uh, uh, the uh, Battle Creek Battle Jacks. Uh, should be a good one. And a victorious day for the rafters. Go ahead and take that in. and make, Let's get that attendance up to 2,000, everybody. And uh, We'll see you at the ballpark tonight. Terry, always a great time talking with you. Thank you. Thank you. Find out more at uwswac.org and be sure to follow the United Way on social media. Well, a more Midday Magazine for you tomorrow right here at 97.5 FM. 1320 AM WFHR locally grown radio.